this is my intro. Hello and good morning. My name is Cody, also known as Just Two Eyes, and that's Graham. And today I want to talk about understanding nerds. Now in this day and age, nerds is a very welcoming term. It's a type of term that everyone uses that's very commonplace and that actually means a good thing in this day and age, which is a good thing. And there are all types of nerds out there. Nerds who are into video games, movies, even sports. A nerd is a person who is highly addicted and very into a certain type of culture, media, anything. And the thing I want to talk about is understanding these different types of nerds, not just comic book, video game, anime watching nerds like myself. And by understanding the different types of nerds out there, the more you will open your mind up to the different things that encompasses the world. Now, of course, there are different terms and I'm pretty sure more diplomatic and academic term for what I mean by nerd. But I'm going to use nerd as the word I'm going, as the word you might know it as. Now you know the basic type of nerd. Most likely you are one or many of those yourself. You watch animes, you're into comic books, you're into certain type of cartoon shows, you really like nerdy movies, and you play nerdy video games. Those are really, you know, the, the sub-level of nerd that a lot of mainstream culture can accept and get along with and be fine with but there's nerds for everything else there really is let's go with the stereotypical heavy hitter first sports yes there are sport nerds sport nerds spurs have you ever heard of a thing called fantasy football i saw a video a while ago that related fantasy football to dungeons and dragons and the similarities are so so crazy. Like the main part I heard is if you see somebody dressed in Dungeon and Dragons cosplay, they are kind of pointed at and laughed at and looked at as a little weird. But if you see a person dressed up as in a jersey, and not just like a jersey they got from the store that had a number on it, no, the jersey of one of their favorite players that is cosplay, but they're looked at as everyday normal people. Next, let's talk about the collecting nerds. The nerds who like to get together a certain something because they like it, because they enjoy having different types of the same material or object. Such as myself, I am a nerd for collecting Coca-Cola cans. Not because I like Coca-Cola, because it's not one of my favorite drinks, but because it's an awesome thing to collect and I do want to make something awesome out of it. But they're coin collecting nerds, bug collecting, stamp collecting, rock collecting. Just about everything that isn't biodegradable can be collected and most likely is collected by a nerd. I'm more than sure there's a nerd out there who likes to collect scissors. And yes, even people who are car collectors are nerds. Yes, they are. Ask anybody. And then there's the more obscure nerds, the nerds who are really out there, the nerds that not too many people know about, but you love them anyway. And by obscure nerds, I mean the nerds who are really, really into things, who know the details and intricacies of how they work and how they were created and how they were thought of. And those nerds, I really love because those nerds are the ones who are very informative. Most of the time, they are very nice and polite people. Most of the time. I'm one of these nerds myself. There's certain things that I like to watch that I know a lot about more than other people, only because I've seen it so many times. But the main thing I really want you to understand is that being a nerd isn't a bad thing. Nerds out there, they are not bad people. Nerds are nice, kind, helpful people. They're most of the time not dangerous. And I'm not saying accept them and love them for everything that they do. I'm just saying hear them out, give them a chance. You might actually like what they're talking about. But that'll be that. So if you like what I'm doing, you want to see what else I'm doing, like, share, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Because I'm always interested to know. So...